I'm Amy Osher for AIN TV. Coming up, we'll have today's headlines from Heli Expo 2008, including an Augusta Westland record flight and news from MD helicopters. Now here are the top stories. The orders just kept coming for Eurocopters 175. The aircraft was unveiled on Monday. In just two days, the company announced 100 orders. Based on the reported base price of $8 million each, orders generated so far are estimated to be worth at least $800 million. Orders for the 175 made up half of Eurocopters' totals for this show so far. MD Power, that's the support plan announced today by MD Helicopters CEO Lynn Tilton. It will cover parts for scheduled and unscheduled maintenance, along with overhauls. The plan is transferable with the aircraft, and it protects the helicopter's most critical systems and subsystems, as well as the engines. Tilton also announced that the company recently signed a contract with California Shock Trauma Air Rescue for five MD-902 EMS aircraft. Last year, MD Helicopters delivered 32 aircraft. This year, it expects to deliver 60 to 62. Tilton said MD could deliver 100 if it had enough parts. You can get an up-close look at Ms. Tilton's personal VIP-equipped MD-902. It's right here at Heli Expo. Augusta Westland honored a record-breaking flight made in one of its helicopters. Just before this year's Heli Expo, Virginia helicopter owner Scott Kasprowitz and co-pilot Steve Sheik broke the transcontinental New York to L.A. rotorcraft record. They flew in a factory standard AW109 Grand. The pair made the more than 2,000-mile flight in 15 hours, 9 minutes, and 10 seconds shattering the existing record by nearly 10 hours. Their next goal, a record-setting around-the-world flight this summer. A new website made its debut at Heli Expo 2008. Copterjobs.com is an online employment service developed especially for the helicopter industry by industry professionals. Job seekers can log on for free and post a resume or apply for a position around the world. Available jobs include everything from pilots to ground staff. At Heli Expo 2008, 30 new employers signed up to post jobs, and more than 100 job seekers registered on copterjobs.com. FAA Rotorcraft Directorate Manager David Downey said wearing night vision goggles should be the norm for helicopter pilots, not the exception. Currently, MVG approvals are done via the STC process. However, the FAA advocates a technical standard order approval, which would make installation simpler, faster, and easier to export outside the U.S. The Rotorcraft Directorate is a big supporter of the International Helicopter Safety Team effort. It's focusing on four major helicopter safety issues, night vision goggles, surplus helicopters, safety management systems, and the in-flight recording of operational and safety data. For a look back at news from Singapore, click on the Singapore Air Show 2008 tab. For AIN-TV, I'm Amy Osher.